The volcanic eruption continues at the summit of Kilauea. Scientists note slightly reduced vigor on Sunday, with two narrow channels of lava spilling from the west vent on the wall of the caldera. A December 26th helicopter flight provides this updated aerial view over the summit. The video has been sped up by three times. According to the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, sulfur dioxide emissions have dropped. Rates are down to about 5,000 tons per day, compared to about 20,000 on Christmas, much lower than the 40,000 tons per day measured at the start of the eruption. All lava activity is confined to the summit caldera. HVO noted in its Sunday update that its monitors also indicate that the upper portion of the East Rift Zone contracted seven days ago during the start of the eruption. The scientists say this was associated with magma withdrawal to feed the summit vents. There is no seismic or deformation data to indicate that magma is moving into either of Kilauea's rift zones. The lava lake within the summit crater has changed little in the past day, and this morning was about 581 feet deep. Scientists say it is 1,340 feet below the south rim. The lake volume remained about 21 million cubic meters, which is equivalent to 27 million cubic yards or 4.8 billion gallons. For comparison, HVO says the maximum lava lake depth measured during the 1959 eruption of Kilauea Iki was 413 feet. This topographic map of the summit caldera shows contour lines every 66 feet above sea level. The current lava lake in red has filled 580 feet of the crater since the eruption began one week ago. The lava lake will have to rise another 328 feet before it overflows the crater rim on the lowest part of the northeast edge, shown with a green line. The lava lake has another 656 feet to go before it overflows onto the west portion of the down drop block that formed in 2018. That level is shown here with the blue line. Scientists say the lava lake was previously rising several tens of meters per day, but the lake has not risen significantly in recent days. This thermal webcam time-lapse captured one image every 10 minutes for a 24-hour period. The video shows the shift in eruptive activity early on December 26. Just before 3 a.m., the active northern vent shut down as it became drowned by the rising lava lake. At the same time, the western fissure vents abruptly increased in vigor. Scientists note the change in the lava lake's surface motion caused by the shift in the eruption. HVO has produced another image slider, this time showing the difference between the summit activity on December 25th on the left, back when the northern vent was the more vigorous of the two fissures. On the right, a photo from December 27th, taken after the rising lava lake drowned the north vent, and the west vent became more active. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory continues to closely monitor Kilauea's seismicity, deformation, and gas emissions for any sign of reactivation. Scientists are maintaining visual surveillance of the summit and the East Rift Zone. HVO says it will continue to issue daily updates and additional messages as needed.